In this video, I just want to take you through some of the basic settings for bookmarking your scenes and setting up some of the graphics for those scenes and then finally doing a quick animation. So on the screen here, this is my exterior shot one. And between exterior one, two, three, four, five, and six, uh, included in animation boxes ticked on. The interiors I haven't included. So what this means is when I go to hit play, this will actually run those exterior animations only. So what it's doing is I've got a camera speed of three miles an hour and it's including the animation. It's including uh, these type of scene properties and it's navigating through the model and giving me this uh, basic animation out here. So to, to do uh, to create a, script, a scene, I'm just going to stop that for a sec. Create a scene is pretty simple. So this is my this is my last last scene in that little animation. Maybe I want one more. So all I'm going to do is navigate around to the shot, which I think is applicable, and just hit plus and give it a name. So this will be exterior seven and just make sure that it's included in the animation. I'm going to use the same camera speed. If, for example, you want to adjust this, just navigate down to the point that you want to adjust it from. Make sure you hit the update scene and that will update it. So now when we go to play from here, it will just load it through and it will give us a smooth transition down to that point, exterior seven, and then we'll pick back up again on exterior one where we want to start from so a simple way to get that up and running another thing to note here is the styles so here's the I'm just gonna stop that here's the uh, visual styles that I'm using so I have my shadows and my ambient shadows showing here maybe if you want to speed it up you might want to turn these off and we also have edges but I don't want to use edges for this particular one and I want to drop the silhouettes down. So you can do that and take it down to a, a graphic that you feel happier with. When you do drop that, just make sure when you go back to the scene, you update that scene just to make sure that's captured. So you see here, this one actually has the edges. But when I play, once we get down to the other scene, it will change into a different type of graphical style. This works with other things like the sunlighting as well. So whatever you want to manipulate, you can do this by just changing those properties in the uh, styles here and then just updating that scene. And we should see that update here. Yeah, so it updates there. So that's a simple way on how to graphically change some of the settings inside of your animation, how to set up some screenshots here for your scenes. The other one to note is where are those cameras? So sometimes you want to look at your model and understand where the cameras are. I'm going to go to the display settings and just put everything on monotone surfaces and then go back to my cameras here and click this new button here, edit scene cameras. And this will now highlight my animation part here. So here it is, maybe this one wants to go back a little bit. I can move that camera as needed and very quickly uh, adjust my animation path with not too much effort. So that's a nice little handy tool to help you modify any camera path animations you're wanting to create. 